Nintendo will always have a place in my heart. They always have games that I'm looking forward to, even if they spread out throughout the years. And one of those games is Breath of the Wild 2. While the first one is without faults, I can say that it's one of the best games they've ever released. It's amazing. I just hope that it improves on its predecessor because what that game really needed was dungeons. Those four giants dungeons were nothing. They weren't even good. They, in fact, they sucked. So if they had proper dungeons and more mechanics and more items to use, I promise you, the next breath, the next breath of the wild will be fucking, fucking amazing and might be a masterpiece. Bayonetta three. How long have we been waiting for Bayonetta three? And I trust Platinum Games at this point, so I don't, I don't need to have much to say about it because God. Every, every time they, they do a game like this, Bayonetta 1 and 2 are both fucking classics. So, just keep doing what they gotta do, and I promise you, I'm gonna be there. It's action at its finest, and Bayonetta at her thickest. What more can a man need? I'm more of a 3D Metroid guy, so Metroid Prime 4 basically has me super, super excited. Even though we only started number 4, and we know what's going through development hell, could they change back to the original developer of the game? But I'm still excited because, you know, it's Metroid fucking Prime and, you know, the last three were really fucking good. So, hopefully this one doesn't be a fuck up. Hopefully, God, you listening. And Splatoon 3 just needs to be Splatoon 3. Nothing really extra I need from it. Just more gameplay. We can have more turf wars, more funny moments with the, with the, with the hosts. You know, some new weapons might be cool, but I don't need them. And we definitely new drip. New drip is 100% necessary, 1,000% necessary. New drip is all we fucking need, and you got me. Like, it's all we need. I also want to see a director pose in every new number that Splatoon comes out in. He's already done one, two, and three. So if we get like a six, I want to see how his body makes a six. It'd be fucking ridiculous. Okay, hear me out. I don't fuck with Pokemon games, but I know a lot of people do. Have, have friends that do. They live by that shit, but I just don't. So, I know Pokemon Arceus when that comes out, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a banger for the people who like Pokemon. But for me, it it looked shady when I first saw it. Like the frame rate looked atrocious, and just out in the world, just throwing balls and shit looked kind of whack. But it's Pokemon, and Pokemon rarely makes a terrible game. Well. <laughs> Pokemon Barry makes a terrible game, but you know, hopefully this one is could they go on a different path and people been asking for them to do something different for a while now. So this one looks like it could be that one if they get it right. And we finally get in a 3D Kirby game after I don't know how long. Like it's it looks so weird seeing Kirby running around in ruins like it's fucking like I don't know, like Breath of the Wild or fucking Sonic. <laughs> but it looked good and Kirby always hits no matter if you don't like Kirby or not Kirby is a franchise that rarely has a bad game so that's all we need is Kirby sucking up shit fucking up shit and being cute Mario and Rabbids looks like a big improvement of the first one I played some of it and then I kind of dropped it because I kind of got bored with it because you know it's kind of simple XCOM to a certain extent even though it has the Mario charm, but also has this weird Ubisoft charm too, which is like, kind of makes it worse, <laughs> a little bit, like Ubisoft charm isn't that, you know, like, oh, is this a Ubisoft game, wow, I'm so happy, it's like, oh, it's a Ubisoft game, so, it kind of made the game a little bit worse, but this one looks better, uh, it doesn't, it has more Nintendo charm than Ubisoft charm, so, you know, hopefully it gives me something more besides, you know, just, had a behind cover and, you know, shooting. And after that, I don't really know what else Nintendo has up the pipeline. Like, they are very secretive about their stuff in the first place. So, we know about Triangle Strategy and Advance Wars. And it, those going to be good games, but there's nothing for me to get hype about. So, for me, an announcement of a new 3D Mario game would basically put me over the moon. Mario Odyssey is one of my favorite games of all time. And, yeah, I just need that to exist. I need that to exist. And... For God's sakes, for God's sakes, I know PC parts are hard to come by, the game industry, industry is in turmoil because the consoles are hard to get, but eventually, please make a fucking pro version of your console. 
because God, I'm sick of these fucking frame rates. Hyrule Warriors runs like dog shit. Looks like dog shit sometimes. It's fucking ridiculous at this point. We want to play these games. We, we, you, we know you're developing these games at the best way possible, and you gotta downgrade them for this fucking console. I love the Switch. It's one of the most unique devices ever. But fuck me if it doesn't run pro games properly. It runs games poorly all the fucking time. So I need an improvement eventually. No rush because there is no need for a rush because they're doing fucking well by selling you basically a better screen for a hundred more dollars. But please, please for the love of God, be working on it because man, it needs to happen. But Nintendo games will be Nintendo games. Nintendo will be Nintendo. So we'll be there no matter what, no matter what because you know, Nintendo fanboys love to suck. That Nintendo fat 